Hi everyone, I'm Laura and I'm the Curry Stitcher. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, this is a channel about cross stitch. Uh, if you're interested in the subject, um, please, and you like what you see, please like and subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell for notifications when I post my next video. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I did meet with the Gainesville Stitchers uh, yesterday, so uh, the turnout wasn't too great this time. It was a lot better the first time I went, but um, the reason why was a lot of people, like I think Dina had a, Dina with Half Stitch Cross Stitch, she had a retreat to go to, which is uh, wonderful. Uh, I hope she had a good time. Uh, hey Dina, if you're, if you watch, um, I, I hope you had a good time, and I can't wait to hear all about it. Um, there was a shop owner there this time that I I have heard of, but I didn't um, realize who she was until she introduced herself and she gave me the card, her card. And I will show you that card right now. But Jackie, the shop owner, was so nice and sweet. And she uh, told me, you know, a little bit about the business. And it was very interesting. But um, so I hope to uh, buy some things from her. Um, so I want to get right into the stitching progress I had. I had it FFO this uh, this week. Um, I'm still working on it. Things have to dry and <laughs> cure and that kind of thing. I don't want to put my stitching on something that uh, you know might get yucky stuff on it. So anyway, um, I will post pictures of my FFO along with a few um, vignettes, I think you call them vignettes, um, of my decorating, my decorating for fall. Um, this week was kind of busy, um, so I, but I did make the progress that I had wanted to make. I did finish my Sue Hillis piece, and um, like you saw in the picture, um, and I continued working on my Autumn Whimsies.
my forever grateful. I stitched the vine and some of the leaves and but I, I really have to remember to go back right here and put the bottom <laughs> it's just like five or six stitches I'm really nervous that I'm going to forget that so I'm going to stop doing what I'm doing down here and go back up there and but it's only got a few more leaves and then it'll be finished um, I'm debating about some back stitching. This part doesn't show up that great, but um, I could frog it and change the color, or I could just let it look old and grungy. Uh, not sure what I'm going to do, um, but anyway, uh, they, these are so cute. I thought I had the pattern in here to show you. Hold, please. I'm back. I, I did have the pattern. I just didn't want it to crinkle with y'all, but it's Autumn Whimsies, Whimsies by Scissor Tail Designs. And I've done the pumpkin, and that's the Forever Grateful. I kind of wish I had used a light color fabric, but I'm okay with what it's stitched on. It's stitched on 28 count Monaco coffee tea dyed by me. And I wanted it really, really dark, but I wasn't thinking about, you know, whether it was going to have enough contrast or not. But I think it's okay. Okay, and the next thing. Um, I worked on, you know, I had have, have the goal to get hang your stocking and the two stockings and the gingerbread. And I got a little bit of the alarm clock, which, you know, so I exceeded the goal by just a tiny little bit. But uh, where is the alarm clock? Right there time for bed and it'll have the clock and the bed and those will be fun. I love stitching the motifs so that'll be fun and I hope to have this finished by Christmas. But this is uh, you know uh, my Christmas list by Silver Creek Samplers. Love this piece and I will link everything in the bottom um, of you know what I stitched it on and everything um, so that's all for stitching progress um, I want to show you my little bit of haul <laughs> I went to Hobby Lobby after my stitching meetup in Gainesville because um, you know killing two birds with one stone and I had to leave early because um, we were eating out at Glen Ella restaurant and I'm a, if they have a website I'm gonna put a link to it it's a charming place it was an old inn and um, you know and it still has a dirt road to it I'm gonna insert a little video um, either tack it on in the end or anyway but it's a little video of what it looks like um but we we arrived at 6 30 and we were eating with uh two other couples um you know just sweet people um very fine people and we uh always close the place down we left at 10 30. we enjoyed it so much but i got this um 32 belfast lena uh, from Hobby Lobby in the natural. I thought it was pretty. Um, I'll take it out so you, you can see. But it's kind of stiff. Uh, but I like a stiff fabric. A stiffer fabric. And it loosens up when you, you know, crinkle it up and <laughs> shove it in a bag and all that. But it, I think that colors real pretty. I kind of wish that I had a stitch to my 
Maybe my autumn wind sees on that. Even that might be a little too dark for some of those acorns. It might be the acorn color even. So anyway, um, but I got that and I got another little hoop. I like these hoops. They, um, you know, they have the ridge there. It really holds your fabric tight. And I learned from Anna Bates, you know, who's very new. <laughs> She's not new to cross stitching, but she was new to floss tube and anything. But she um, she talked about how you know you stitch backwards, like you had the flat part of your work. You know, the back is the flattest part of your work. So when you're, like if you're threading underneath some stitches, you know, you're not running into the side of the hoop. And, and I've been stitching that way and I, I love it. <laughs> it's really uh, nice. And I needed some um, DMC 3053 for um, my Hawk Run Hollow that I am so anxious to start. And I bought a couple of packs of um, 26 needles. Um, you know, I know these probably are not the best needles, but I don't have a problem with them. <laughs> they work they were just fine for me. Oh, and the big thing that I got from Hobby Lobby, um, they had their Christmas half off. I still have all the tags on it, but I got a Ray Dunn pillow. It says Noel. And it was uh, $15 with the half off. And I think I used my 40% coupon on um, either some chalk paint or this. I'm not sure which was the most expensive, but I tried to figure out the most expensive thing. And anyway, uh, those coupons are nice. So, okay, uh, that is all I have this week. So I, I wanted this video to be short. Um, I, we had a real busy week. Um, I ended up taking my mom's tennis shoes back. <laughs> and so the one thing that we got last week, uh, you know, didn't work out for her. So. Uh, I'm going to be ordering online um, some shoes that she already has that she knows she likes. So, I'm going to try and find those. Um, and then Wednesday, I cleaned house. And Friday, I made vegetable soup. Um, and uh, that was the perfect day to make vegetable soup because, you know, it got cold and rainy the very next day, so we were happy to have that soup on hand. Um, and then Saturday, I had my stitch and meet up, and then we went to dinner at Glenella. So we had a fun week. Not not a whole lot of uh, exci real exciting stuff, but uh, for me, it was a good week. So I hope everybody had a good week, too, and got done what you need to get done and uh, that everybody's family is safe and happy and um but anyway i'll talk to you later thank you bye, -bye.